This is a CBS 2 News update. I'm Dick Brennan. 47-year-old Richard Bull was nervous about coming forward, but just a short time ago, we met the winner of the $533 million Mega Millions ticket sold in New Jersey. Bull was introduced at the New Jersey Lottery headquarters in Trenton. He moved to Vernon a year ago from Michigan to work as a food service manager. Bull says he bought the winning ticket while stopping at a gas station in Riverdale. He says he bought 10 tickets and a Coke. He says winning is not only life changing for his family, but for others because he plans to help people in need. But he also plans to have fun. He walked upstairs. You know, I tell my wife, I saw her, I said, baby, we get to go on vacation. She goes, what are you talking about? Don't be an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, no, seriously, you know, we hit it. You know, we won the lottery. He sure did. Well, plans to take the lump sum of about 220 million dollars. If you're not outside, you don't know this, but uh, finally, it's an overdue spring day. Check out the aerial picture of Central Park. People are taking advantage of the warm temperatures, but how long will it stick around? Let's check in with John Elliott for a look at your forecast. Happy Friday, everybody. Friday the 13th. But no uh, cause for fear here as we see really nice numbers. You know, the normal high is about 60, so woo, it's a warm one. June field. We've been watching a few showers float by. Uh, so, uh, fair skies. Uh, you know, the irony is with the wind and uh, lower dew points this afternoon, that's a uh, fire weather. So, if you see something, call it in so it doesn't spread. Warm again tomorrow, but by Saturday night, a few showers. And then look at that almost a 30 degree drop. Heavy rain Sunday into Monday. All right, John, thanks very much. Well, a suspect is now under arrest in a rape in the Melrose section of the Bronx. Police say this is 30-year-old Nikki Burris. They say he followed a woman inside her building early Thursday morning, forced her into an elevator, and placed her in a headlock until she was unconscious. Investigators say he then dragged her up to the rooftop where he allegedly raped a 23-year-old woman before making off with her wallet and cash. Charges against Burris include robbery, strangulation, and predatory sexual assault. We're told there's a new push by Uber worldwide to make sure it's not employing criminal drivers. The company says it will begin doing annual background checks on all its operators. In addition, it will monitor arrests by hiring a reporting company. In New York City, the Taxi and Limousine Commission says Uber drivers are already subject to this type of monitoring, but the new rules are a change in many other communities. Well, the 2018 Academy of Country Music Awards are coming up Sunday night right here on CBS2. We can tell you Reba McIntyre is set to host this year's show from Las Vegas. Performers include Dan and Shay, Darius Rucker, and Chris Young. Singer Brett Young says he's looking forward to playing one of his biggest hits. It's a little 90-second uh, clip of In Case You Didn't Know, and uh, uh, rather than uh, bring the whole band and make it a big to-do, I feel like it's a, like an intimate uh, kind of special uh, song, and so uh, it's going to be a really stripped-down uh, production and performance of In Case You Didn't Know. Well, in case you didn't know, the show will also feature several ACM flashbacks, special collaborations between artists to celebrate some classic country hits from 1993 on its 25th anniversary. Good for them. And you can watch the ACM Awards coming up this Sunday night at 8 p.m. on CBS2. And that's your CBS2 News Update. You can always stay with us online, on social media, and of course, on TV. I'm Dick Brennan.